Hey, what's up, all you beautiful, wonderful, fiendish ghouls traveling the vast nerd universe? It's me, it's Rain, and... It's Toby, your wonderful and... tech support. Ooh, my. You gotta mention that every time, don't you? Maybe. Okay. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not the one, I'm, I'm not, you don't hear me going here. Um, hey guys, Rain, I'm the photographer. Like, you're gonna drop that eventually. You're the photographer I'm and IT. the editor. Anyway, guys, getting back into the actual topic of this video. This is our, probably our, our first video here for this channel, so we're super excited. Well, aside from the intro, but that doesn't count. Um, our first official content creating video for this channel. Uh, and you guys notice back here, back her, uh, we're doing, oh, also by the title of the video, obviously. I mean, you might be able to tell. If you can read, you can tell. Anyway, we're doing an unboxing today. We just got this in the mail today. Today's we're doing an unboxing. Unboxing. Yes, okay, we got it. We just got this in the mail today. We ordered this back in the beginning of April. Yep. And thanks to the pandemic and everything, this literally just got here today. Today is June 12th? It's after midnight. I don't know. I'm an, no, it's we're before not midnight. Okay, it's June 11th. Whatever. It is June 11th. We just got this today. We had to run down to the post office because apparently they couldn't just leave it in our mailbox or leave it outside on the porch. Oh, no, 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 no. We had to go and try to catch them like 15 minutes before they closed. Anyway, but it's here. So here's our box. Look how gorgeous it is. You can hold that. It's so cute. I love, first of all, let me comment. I love this packaging. I've, I've received other subscription boxes before um, for many things, but this Boxy. is like honestly one of the cutest boxes I've ever seen. Um, and yeah, we're Boxy. just yeah, Boxu. It's called Boxu. I will leave all the information uh, for this. If you guys want to subscribe yourselves, try it out yourselves. Um, for the record, it probably shouldn't, it should go without saying, this is not sponsored whatsoever. We bought this, uh, and we weren't even planning on doing a video, honestly. You can put the nope. box down, dude. We weren't planning on doing a video anyway. Uh, we just kind of, like, things lined up, and I was like, why, why don't we just do a video? Why not? Uh, but yeah, we're going to get into it, uh, and we're not only and going to be looking through the items, obviously, because that would just be a boring video. We're going to be taste testing everything that's in this box. And also, this, if you do order the Boxy. It should become a much faster than ours did. Hopefully. Because ours, we had the unfortunate of uh, when they actually mailed ours out, it was still during the time when Boxy was utilizing Japan Post. Yeah. They switched over to using DHL. Yeah, and we got stuck so with how So any future that. orders are going out through DHL, which is going out much faster than Japan Post is. We had we had ours basically returned and then sent back, and it was, it was a lot of mess. But anyway, it's here. We're gonna do this now. So, uh, I wanna open the box. I wanna open the box! So, we do it this way so they can see too. Do it this way. So. And yes, you will, we will all be seeing this for the first time together. I actually took a peek in it. He took a but peek, I only but saw I didn't, the paper. I only saw the paper. I, I didn't swear. let him go past this. I point. swear I only saw the paper. Uh, what we have here is actually a boxer culture guide. For the season to Japan. Should we You're actually not doing go it through properly. it? You have to do it like those commercials. Here we have this guy. Oh well, my god! See, you have two hands to work with. I have one hand holding the box. Well, uh, let me let me be the, the like the, the showcase person. Hello. My focus. My camera doesn't like to focus. Whatever. Ooh. Ah. Uh, I think you're better off keeping this. I wanna see. I was like, should we actually I go? I wanna do it first. I wanna do it first. I thought you wanted to actually show it. Yeah, camera. but I'm gonna show it and then pass it to you. So here we have a little card. I'm going to okay. thank you. We have a little card. It says box you. Oh my god. Should I stop? Yes. Okay. And here, guys, it has some information. Uh -oh. This one. <laughs> Welcome to my weirdness, everyone! This is basically just a little uh, intro card from the uh, founder of Boxy. I don't know if you want no. me to read that or not. I don't care. I want food. 
<laughs> I want the food, damn it. Okay. Oh, we could um, go through these seasons. We've got quite a lot in soon. here. Oh my god, we have a lot. Uh, we're gonna start off with we've got these little thingies here. Uh, what the hell is this? There's one for you. Um, Hair from all biscuit. I, I, I'm doing the beauty guru thing, guys. If you guys can see, look how pretty. This is very simplistic packaging stuff, stuff and things. Okay, so. um, Tutorial the 20th century pack. Uh, I'm gonna try it. I'm sure you're gonna do the same thing. Ooh, that's a strong scent. Ooh! That's a citrusy scent. That's a scent. Okay. Um, let me... Well, mine's broken because it's dropping mine, it. Mine is kind of broken too, though. So yeah, it's just a little square and it's got some cream stuff inside. I'm gonna try it. Uh, it does say pear fromage biscuit. What is fromage? Omelette de fromage. Mm -hmm. Omelette de fromage. So the pear cheese biscuit? It's alright. It tastes kind of bland, honestly. Well, not, not like bland, like lacking in flavor. It's just kind of like a bland flavor. Like it's very subtle and subdued. I don't like it. I feel like this would actually go well with some tea. Yeah, probably. Um, it's alright. It's not bad. It's not good. I don't care. There you go. I'm gonna leave mine. Um, what do you think? Also, we got our water How here. do I like it? You like it? Hi, camera. It's just gonna do that. This is what happens when we use autofocus. <laughs> well, if we turn off the autofocus, you'll have to focus it manually and that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Yeah. It'll get used to it eventually. Um, so you want to try something else? So let's see. You want to pick it? Let's pick something. I was going to pick the same thing. Oh, this this is mochi, isn't it? Is it? Um, I think the culture guide or something might actually have what everything is. But, 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 I was going to say, but, we can read about it at the end of the video. I want to try it first. Um, so, this That's is... This. Yeah, Which... no it looks really cute. I like the packaging of this. You've got a green, pink, and like yellowy white one. Um, it definitely feels like mochi through the packaging. I'm gonna guess this is mochi. You're really making it more difficult on yourself. Uh, Peel from the side. No, I like opening it like my way. Someone sure. instruct me on how to open shit up here. By the way, it's probably having trouble focusing because there's two of us on camera. Have a scent. Not really. Um, yeah, I'm uh, gonna it's guess definitely got like it's mochi. powdery sugar on it. It's mochi. Um, so oh, guys can oh, so we're going for. They we're all going look for like two this. Different, ones. different flavors. Um, which one are you going for? The green one. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I hate the texture. Oh nope. It has like a gum drop texture. The flavor's good though. I like the flavor. I mean, you said you didn't one. like the eh, mochi ice cream because of the texture. Yeah, but that's a different issue with that one. Um, I like the flavor at least of this white it's one. It's about the same texture. Um, I'm not gonna try the others though because this is about the same texture as the mochi ice cream when yeah, the other one, it's actually gotten a little what, bit warmer. Yeah, but what bothers me about that one is like the powderiness of like the whatever it is they put on it. Um, this one's really the sweet. sugar crystals I think are there. That one's not sugar crystals. This one has sugar crystals. That one does not. That one has like flour. Um, I actually really like this. I like the flavor of at least that one, but like I can't stand. I hate guys. Like I am. Um, little fun fact about me. I detest anything that has that, that like. Not not that I don't dislike gummy things. I just don't like the ones that are overly soft and like a gumdrop kind of texture, um, or like they have that stiff texture. But once you bite through the like outer shell of it. It then gets really soft and mushy. I just, I cannot, cannot do that texture. Um, so, I can't do and that. But it tastes good. It's just, the texture for me. Mm. Meanwhile, I'll eat just about any gummies. I mean, then you can have that too. Two, two things for you. Um, let's see. I like this. This is kind of falling up to me. Okay, this is a separate one. So, so this. Seems like most of the stuff in here is single. I don't know what the fuck that is, but there you go. 
see. Um, Does it from the feeling, it's like... some kind of like chip or something. I think. I think it's probably like a savory snack. We're gonna look it up. Everything at the is end. still. Everything on this one is in Japanese. Bro, like. You want it's, me to open it? I can read Japanese. I can open it. He has to do it the most pain in the ass way. <laughs> what did I say about the most pain in the ass way? Shut up! Oh, wait, am I allowed to say that with YouTube? What? Ass. Um. I don't know. I don't know anymore. No, wait, we're not monetized anyway, so. I don't know. If any, if there, if anyone thinks there's a problem, I can go back and leave it. Um. <coughs> oh, that's a strong. That has a pungent smell. It's like. It's, I have a bad feeling with that. It smells like potato, like something potato-y, but at the same time, it there's like a pungent There's like smell. a hint of ketchup scent to that. Well, but like a bad kind of ketchup scent. Ugh, it smells like it smells like really, really old fries that have been left out for a long time. Don't um, ask how we know that. Ooh, it looks like that. Wow. It's not much. It's I'm like concerned. a little chip puff thing here. I have my bottle of water at the ready. And yes, this is water. It's just flavored water. Okay. Mm, tastes like vinegar. Nope. Mm -mm. Not about that life. Mm. I get the taste of it at the moment I touch my tongue. We should have brought something to like throw things with this discarded makeup wipe. Will be review trash. Uh, uh, this, mm -mm. if you like vinegar chips or something, you might like this. But oh, I have oh. a pure hatred for oh, salt and vinegar chips. Uh, 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 uh. It, it tastes like nasty salt and vinegar chips, and they already are bad to me. Um, here, pick out something better, hopefully. Ooh. Is that Gudetama? It looks like Gudetama. So that's the next one. I don't know what that is either. I mean, it, it actually says oh, Gudetama, says Gudetama on Tama. here. Okay, cool. It we actually Gudet says Gudetama Gudetama. Gudetama. Okay. It doesn't say much else, though. So. Yeah, it doesn't say much else, though. Oh, it's one of those. Oh, I'm afraid. I don't like the smell of that. I don't know, it's, it smells kind of off. It's like a roll, like a crunchy roll thing. Camera focus. It's not gonna focus anymore by you just waving your hand. Here, if I go out of frame, focus now. There we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's trying to focus on me. It's not gonna. Do, that doesn't help it focus. By basically wiping the screen. That's not how cameras work, dude. That tastes like an extremely cheesy Cheeto. Yeah. Like, re like they it's like, it's like like a, they packed like all the cheese into one puffy Cheeto. It's like a really, really cheesy, really, really airy, light and puffy, hollow Cheeto puff. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it. It could do with being a little bit che less cheesy for me, but I actually like yeah, it. Yeah, I think the I think the sheer cheesiness of it is affecting. Oh, I'll eat that. So not, look, something not, for you! Not like I didn't eat half of it already, but I'm not sure say that. I'm not sure like that. Look, something for you. Um, that was you who picked that, right? Yep. I'm gonna pick this, I picked that good at time. I'm gonna pick this green thing, uh, and probably instantly regret it. Um, so, this... I swear, if that's like kale chips or something. Oh, I hope not. I don't know what that is. But the packaging I like, so. Satoshi Sudachi. I don't know what that means. You just really cannot. <laughs> I've been telling him this whole time. 
I've been telling him this whole time. <gasps> I don't think either of us is going to like this. this. You, you're going to try it one way or the other. You just stole it from me. Just take the damn thing. Oh, Christ. I think it is like a kale chip. Oh, God. What's that looks like? Should we just take a taste of one? Oh god, and then on the back, there you go. I see a pair up in here. I'm, I was interested by the shape of that. Um, it says white strawberry. Okay. Maybe this is one of those white chocolate strawberry things. Oh, maybe. I was seeing on there. Do you have a fucking G glory hog? Damn. Ooh, that smells strong. Ooh, child. Um. It's an actual strawberry. This is a whole ass strawberry. Like, y'all, that's a whole ass strawberry. This... It smells really sweet and really good, though. I wonder if it's injected with white chocolate. No. I know what it is. It's coated. I think this Ooh, might be... Delicious. I think this might be a, um, like, white chocolate... Infused with strawberry flavor, molded. You know what I mean? It could be. I think that's what. This it is, is delicious though. Because it it's it tastes good like strawberry, but it has that like strong scent of white chocolate. I know a lot of people don't like white chocolate. I'm not gonna eat a lot of this, by the way, because. Oh wait, hold on. Actually, I'm gonna just separate this. I'm gonna keep the good stuff over here in the lid, and the bad stuff can just stay over there. Over there, we don't mess with that. We don't fuck with that. Um, but yeah, like. It tastes really good, but it has like that overwhelming smell of uh, white chocolate. And I would know because I actually really like white chocolate as much. A lot of people don't actually like it. I do. It has both the scent of white chocolate and of strawberry. Mm -hmm. That's actually and really I should good. know the scent of strawberries considering that I spent a good portion of my childhood hey, going to a strawberry field every year with my mother and my sister. I wish I would have done that. My parents never took me anywhere. And we would each pick at least one fresh basket of strawberries. Can we go strawberry picking? Yes, when we move back up north, we can go strawberry picking. Wait, we can go strawberry picking up here. I don't trust Florida strawberries. <laughs> um, anyway. Yo, we don't drink the water here. We don't eat... <laughs> That's not a joke. That's not a joke. Um, anyone who doesn't know, and this must be Why do you think our, we have bottles? Our personal opinion, because I'm not big on bottled water, okay? Like, I'm not. Um, back when I... Because I'm originally from, well... <laughs> Story time. I was born in Puerto Rico, but I grew up most of my childhood and my teenage years all throughout. Uh, I was raised in Philadelphia. Uh, I was used to drinking the tap because Philly tap was good. And in then North Philadelphia, <laughs> raised. <laughs> Can't yeah, say it's... born and raised. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's a whole story for another day. Your but. brother could, though. Yes. Yes. <laughs> my, my brother could literally say, in North Philadelphia, born and raised. <laughs> and meanwhile, um, I grew up on the Chesapeake Bay. But anyway, uh, like I was saying before I was interrupted, I used to drink tap water, so I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, I can't drink the tap. Mm -mm, no. But Florida tap water, unless you have... No. Unless you have all the filtration systems in the world and the best quality, 10 out of 10 top shit, it tastes like gator piss. I'm sorry for anyone that likes it. No offense to you. It's me. I've been trying to drink it for years, and it tastes like gator piss. Sorry. 
I wonder who likes Gator Piss. I don't know, but anyway. See, so except for anyone who likes it. I don't know. So there, who does like there Gator are people, Piss? There are people who are like, Florida yeah. water isn't so bad. Um, anyway, let's move on. I picked out this thing next. This thing. Look what that. is that? I don't know. It looks, it looks like fries. It'll take this one won't open like this either. Open that. Hey, hey. Do you see the notch here? No. I'm blind, you idiot. Look, there's a damn camera. You see the notch there? There is a notch there on the bag. And yeah, these look like fries. They smell like fries. It's like bland, unsalted fries. So did we get sent kale chips and fries? <laughs> We're trying to. Make I'm you standing healthy. by. I'm pretty sure that was kale chips. That's like Ugh. kale chips or hey that. It might have been seaweed chips. No, seaweed tastes better than that, trust me. That's not seaweed. True, seaweed didn't. Seaweed is like a very flavorless. I don't like you get seaweed either, but... Until you get green. Which I think we might have seaweed in here somewhere, too. I wouldn't... <laughs> so, yeah, it looks, it looks like a fry. Feels like a fry. Like a cold fry. You're just gonna eat the fry. It tastes like a like an over enlarged potato stick that's like weirdly salted. Oh, hi. What? That's because it is a that's because these are actual fries. Hokkaido premium potato. Oh. So they're potato sticks. Okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. It's a potato stick. Not much to it. I'll eat them. I actually like the Hokkaido potatoes. They're good. <laughs> um, taking your pick. We've got a lot of snacks to go through still. I wonder how much of this video I'll have to edit. Probably been, a lot. Well, no, because we've been talking straight through, so I don't think I'll have to edit much. That's the next thing. There you go, folks. I need my inhaler. These feel like little puffs. The scent is. It doesn't smell exactly bad, it but it's not pleasant. It doesn't smell exactly good either. It's not pleasant scent, but it doesn't smell like bad. Can I not say I did? Hmm. It's interesting. That's like a way softer texture than I expected. I don't like that texture. What is this like? Does this have sugar in it? No. It tastes like flour and sugar. Are these pastry puffs? It might be. But like if they are, they're bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't like it. No, oh, they're not too bad, mate. They're yours. They taste like they're mostly sweet with the hint of salt. Yeah, I don't like the salt. Maybe if they were just just sweet, I would have liked them. If they're just sweet or they or they were just salty. I'm gonna take this because it's right on top. Um, Same reason I picked the other one. <laughs> what's next? What is that? I don't know. I don't like it. Let's just show them the bag. What's your notch? That smells sweet. words I don't understand. It looks like a cookie. It feels like a cookie. Looks like a biscuit. It's a biscuit. It's not a cookie. Okay, yeah, this seems more like a cracker, actually. A really, really crunchy cracker. It's kind of sweet, but kind of bland. They're like tea biscuits. That's exactly what I was thinking. I like them all of you. I like tea biscuits. I actually really like, like, um... We should make some tea later. 
Now let's try, bitch. We got lots of tea snacks here. Mm. I hope I don't regret this. <laughs> what the hell is that? What the fuck is that? This looks like a, a slice of green banana nut loaf. It does. That color looks nasty. But who knows? Maybe it'll surprise me. Maybe it'll be good. Mm. Oh my god. The more you take it out of the packaging, the less appetizing it looks. Oh. It smells like raisin bread. Oh, it has raisins in it, doesn't it? Ew. I don't know. I can't tell if it, it. I can't tell if that's raisins or not. If it's raisins, I don't want it. I can't eat raisins. I don't do raisins. Okay, get my bite. I don't do raisins, bro. Can you take a bite off of that? So it's like a cake texture. Yeah. Mm. I don't like it. It's not terrible. I don't like it. Actually, I think this is a matcha cake. Yeah, it might be. I don't that would like explain matcha. the coloring and. Uh, yeah, it matches up. Yeah, I don't like matcha. There's something to be more enjoyed with tea. Uh, surprise, surprise! More things to be enjoyed with tea. What is this? Oh, this speaking of tea, actually, we can't taste this. Oh. Because this is actually tea, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is. Japanese green tea blended with roasted rice. Low caffeine. Oh. Cool. Um, we're not going to try this because it'll Organic take... Organic and mite. This will take way too long to actually brew and make this, like... But, yeah, we got two little tea packets. That's cool. Um, that's going to be for you, though, because I don't like green tea. I don't like matcha. Green tea and brown um, rice. So I'm going to pick something else that's actually edible. Uh, Oh, oh god, what else do we have? I'm gonna take the pink one. That's cute. <laughs> the pink one looks cute. That's a stick stick, potatoes. potato sticks. Hey, now we we had fries, oh. now we got potato sticks. Okay, so that's that. It's a potato stick bag. Are okay. those more Hokkaido potatoes? Um, I don't know. That one's actually good, so they are. I know, right? Or are you just like worried about everything else that you're seeing there? Uh, there's some things in there that look offensive. Smells weird. Why do you have to like investigate the package? Just try the damn thing. And they might actually be like, I think they might actually be uh, like uh, the sakura flavor. Smack my hand like I can't do it myself. Thank you for stealing my bag. You're welcome. Generally, it just tastes like potato stick. It's got like a weird seasoning on top, but it's, yeah, it's very like it's fairly. I'm not fond of the seasoning though. Okay. I don't hate it. Don't like it. Okay. Whatever. Um, we only have like a handful of things left. And you're worried about every single thing, aren't you? Uh, minus that. Then that's probably bad too. I'm gonna go with this. There you go, folks. You know, I, if our camera would actually focus. I don't know, this is actually some uh, Boxo and Daimonji handcrafted candy. Ooh. It's actually Yuzu Sake candy. Are we gonna get drunk? <laughs> Technically, you can't. Uh, no. The odds of it, though, you'd have to have a very low tolerance. You'd have to be a mega lightweight for that. No scent. Not really. These are like hard candies. Just a ball. It's like a little barrel. Ooh. 
I like it. Tastes like a really, 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 really subdued lemon head. That's actually pretty bad. Mm -hmm. I like it though. I was just gonna sit here and suck on this. It has like a weird liquor taste to it though. Well, I mean, sake. Yeah. Maybe it's supposed to be a bit close to sake. You know what it tastes like? Mm. Weirdly enough, it's like when I drink uh, Sprite and vodka. And then the aftertaste I get in my mouth, just like that. Just less vodka and more Sprite. Well, that aftertaste sounds like a you problem. <laughs> Don't judge me, I like Sprite and vodka. Um. You're trying to decide what to go for next. Not that. Um, that looked like it had sesame on it. You know what? I'm going to be daring. Um, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try that next. What even is that image on there? I don't know. Um, is it fireworks or flowers? Oh, I have a suspicion. You think it's gonna be spicy? He knows I don't feel spicy. It smells interesting. You don't have to open it more than that. Oh well, yeah, I just wanted to smell it. And those are flowers, by the way. Okay, well I said fireworks are flowers. Chinese Sichuan restaurant. What? Ching Kong Chinese Sichuan restaurant. Okay. Let's try it. Um, because I like to read packaging. Yeah, which is annoying because I want to taste food. I like food. to read just about anything I can actually. I want to taste food. Ooh, that smells stronger the more I open the bag. Uh, this is like a big ass, big ass cracker thing. Uh, and it's red. You're not talking about me. Um, I'm gross, so I'm gonna take that out of my mouth real quick. Um, it smells almost like soy sauce. I'll let you actually. taste it first. It smells soy saucy. It's a rice cake. Does it have a spicy kick? Oh, really? You lying bitch. <laughs> um, that just burned my tongue. <laughs> it tastes like sauce and spices. Um, it's a rice cake, though. That's all. <laughs> if there's something special to that, it's a rice cake. Um, <laughs> take your pick of the last two. Which one do you want? <laughs> I guess oh. you're gonna stick me with the one I didn't want to actually pick up. I'm gonna put this back. <laughs> the flavor is just like lingering. Oh, it resonates with you though. It's not just the spice of it. <laughs> it tastes smoky, kind of. There you go. This kind of looks kind of like a cookie. I guess I said time to sit there and age in the box. Literally just tastes like a plain ass cookie. Might be uh, more the flavor in the center part there. It smells like it would just be like brown sugar or cinnamon or something. But should definitely be more my speed. I mean, it's a cookie. It's a really soft cookie. Nothing special with that. I'll eat it. Okay, well, you can have it. Uh, the last thing we have is this, which I've been avoiding because the packaging looks really cute, but that on the inside does not. Um, it it looks like it has sesame. Yeah, and that's- I hate- I hate sesame so much. Um, but we'll see. This isn't a plastic, too, which then makes me worry even more. 
That sesame. That sesame. That sesame. I don't think we need to actually try that. No, we're gonna try it. How special is just a sesame little disc thing? I have a hint of soy sauce in it. Maybe. I think it has like a hint of soy. Maybe it's just me. I think everything tastes like soy sauce. Okay. No. It literally just tastes seedy. <laughs> I was gonna say, why are you putting that in there? I forgot. Uh, so I'm going to leave that aside because I'm going to give that to somebody else and I'm going to leave the stuff that we're going to keep in here. Um, you want to read that? See if it has Not any the information? Catalog. Any information on there? Ooh. <coughs> the Boxu Culture Guide. Mm -hmm. Experience Hanami in the spring with... I should probably like... Okay, so no, not Sakura. What, this, where is it? This one? Yep. So that. That was actually plump. Oh, it's plum. Koi kaya mini stick potato, super mucho plum. They weren't bad. They weren't great. It was just plum. And that was uh, mochan dango mochi. Which one? The mochi. Uh, this one. Yep. Mochan dango mochi. Okay. Like I said, I just don't like the texture of this. Um, but the flavor of this itself was actually really good. Both of these. What else? And yes, that's covered with sugar crystals. I could have told you that. That's there. So yeah, Totori 20th Century Pear Fromage Biscuit. Uh, that was these. Where's the other one going? It's in there somewhere. White strawberry. Chocolate. So it is actually a strawberry. It's a chocolate infused strawberry. Oh, okay. So you like were Like right. I said. You were right. All right. I remember actually these. reading about these. Okay. So, mala oh. gessen fried rice cracker. That one? The spicy one. This one. <laughs> also I contains mala shellfish. That would be another reason why the taste was not going well with me. Maybe. Yes, though I grew up on the Chesapeake Bay, I don't like uh, seafood. I am as seen as a blasphemer in my family. Come on. Uh, uh, don Don Yaki. What's that? That was the uh, small little things. Uh, Those these? ones. These ones. Named after the sound of the beating taiko drums. They are fried and then marinated in tokatsu sauce to give them a deep, complex, savory flavor that is tangy, peppery, and a little sweet. Not a good it doesn't mix thing. well. No, not for me anyway. Handmade user sake candy, which we're still sucking on. Oh, I ate mine. Oh, you did? Yeah, I ate mine. <laughs> okay, which I'm still sucking on. Also contains alcohol. Oh, where did it go? Hi. <laughs> so, that is seaweed. Which seaweed one? tempura. Satoshi. God, which one was that? The big bag. This one? Yes. Oh, yeah. Satoshi Sadachi citrus flavor. Also contains mala shellfish. Oh, ew. No thanks. So, Aomori apple caramel yakoi sago. And yes, it is a cookie. Bad. This wasn't impressive. It's actually originally a French butter cookie. And they added apple caramel butter. Okay. I was right. Matcha chocolate stick cake. Uh, what's this? By the way, it seems like everything in here is vegetarian. <laughs> so cool. There you go. Most things seem vegetarian. Black Sesame Taiko Kumamon Design. What's that? I so, like sesame. 
Made with fragrant roasted almonds, black sesame, and mizuame sugar syrup. I don't like it. Mini Shiroko Sando eh, red bean crackers. Uh, the crackers. Where, where was that? Your hands right by them. Where? Um, that bag. This? Yes. I'm losing everything right there. I liked it. So, yeah, the. Okay, so the cracker can, has a thin layer of red bean paste inside. And let's hear. You got the organic and my tea. Which is this. Which we didn't try because it'll take too long to make. And I'm not about that life right now. And there's the Jaga Pokuro. Which is the Hokkaido potatoes. Uh, that was Yep. That's her. Funwari Majin Mochi Puffs. Kinako. Uh, those. So those are actually Mochi Puffs. Okay. Okay, so yeah, it was... So that's actually Mochi that's been processed to... That's gone through a secret process to transform it into a crisp and airy texture. And go to Tama Golden Pack. Tamago Kake Gohan flavor. What's that? It's here. Features hot rice, soy sauce, and a raw egg stirred into it. This plastic with subtle notes of seaweed, sesame, and sugar. Tastes cheesy. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, what was your favorite stuff? That's gonna be everything down. I would say the mochi. You like the mochi? And that matcha, the matcha chocolate, hey, bar cake. That was actually nice. Okay. It wasn't too heavy on the matcha. Uh, I would say probably my favorite was definitely the sake candy. I really like that. Uh, and I like the little Gudetama cheese, not exactly cheese puff. I, I would say those are my favorite. Oh no, and the tea biscuits. I really like the tea biscuits. The little, um, what is it, red bean cookies? Yeah, I like those. They're, they're golden crackers with the thin layer of red bean paste inside. Okay, yep. Those, those three I would say were my favorite. Uh, everything else was either, um, it was alright, or it was bad, <laughs> in my personal opinion, of course. Uh, but I really, I think the thing I hated the most, oh, jeez, um, I would have to say the fucking, what is it, the kill chips? Seaweed. Seaweed, seaweed crackers. Or seaweed. Whatever. Those things. Uh, these. Ooh. These. I hated these. I couldn't. No. No. This is not good. Um, and I'm not sure which one I can decide to dislike more. That or this one? I just like that this was one. honestly the uh, least disliked. I, out I of at those. least managed to eat this whole thing. The other one I couldn't like. No. Uh, out of those, out of all those, that was the least disliked. Uh, I know you don't like this one. Hell no. Um, I'm gonna anyway. peek the mic. Okay. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was it. Um, done. We unboxed it. Uh, yeah, so... Our uh, first unboxing. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, overall, this was a pretty pleasant experience. Uh, I personally like trying out new snacks, foods, etc. Uh, even if I didn't really like any of... Um, any, if, well, not any, not that I didn't like any of it. But if I hadn't liked any of it, I still like the experience. But uh, I actually did quite like a few things from here. Um, yeah, and clearly we like the majority. Between yeah, just, the two of us, we like the majority of the box. Yeah, like, there's only a few things that I would 100% like just give away because I, I just, I can't do it. Um, those, those seaweed chip cracker things, like, just... Those four items right there. I can't. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty impressive that I have a box of so between 20 and 25 items, we actually only set aside four. I mean, yeah. 
Um, but yeah, we might do this again, maybe with a different box, maybe with the same box. Uh, I don't know. Let us know if you want to see more unboxings. Yeah, or if you want to see us do like more taste testing things, we can actually go uh, once things open normally again. Uh, we can actually go down, uh, there's a few Asian markets in like the Orlando area and stuff that we can go to, we can get snacks from, we can taste test a few things from there. Uh, we might do this again for other things, uh, we might get other subscription boxes, we might get this one again at some point, I don't know, you'll have to just watch out and see. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to say to us, leave that down in the comment section below. I will include links to all the Nerdy Chic social media, the website, my own personal social media and stuff uh, in the description down below, as well as a link where you can find information about this subscription box. Uh, as I said, this is something that we bought ourselves, so this is by no means sponsored or anything. It's not any kind of weird collaboration or anything. This is just, we wanted to try it out, and we did, so. Uh, overall, I would say it's definitely worth trying. Um, it was, how much did we pay for this? Uh, I think this one was around... Like 35? Yeah, I think around 35. It was like 35 bucks. Um, we got the normal one, like... But that was also the first time yeah. uh, price. Um, it, it might be more after that. I think it's supposed to be like 40 bucks after. I mean, still. Uh, you get a lot of stuff in there, so... It's, I would say it's at least worth trying once, uh, if anything. Uh, but yeah, I might do this again. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, click the subscribe button if you are not subscribed yet. Come and join us. Join this collective mess. Join us. One of us. One of us. One of us. Anyway, Anonymous. that's it. Enough. Heal. One of us. You didn't ooh -oo with it too. You <laughs> Anyway, we hope to see you guys another time. For now, we're signing off. Once again, I'm Rain. And I'm Toby. And this has been Dirty Chic Universe. Bye, y'all.